So how do you re-motivate yourself? As you know, the dog food stuff is still up in the air, no contact. <laughs> um, then the website stuff I've been doing for the last week is still being a pain in the backside. Um, looks like I may have to scrap some of it and start again. But on top of that, I've also got the headaches of the self-employment and other stuff starting to come to a head, which are going to be more expenses, but I'm still working on generating more of an income. Well, the answer is you've got to motivate yourself. And it, this is where the motivation comes from, is Christmas is out of the way, New Year's out of the way, and Spain at the moment's in three kings mode, which is bigger than Christmas here in Spain, but it finishes tomorrow. Um, so as such, my motivation is it's the seventh, move forward. You have to move things forward. Um, things go wrong from time to time, but if you sit there and moan about it, it ain't got to fix the problem, it ain't got to help, you'll just deflate yourself. So what I do is I get myself a whiteboard and I write the tasks that I've got to do this week. Um, at the moment, most of these are for the next couple of days. Now, if I can get the autonomo paperwork done, which I'll do tonight before I go to bed, that's one off the list. Uh, the Volkswagen paperwork still got to just go and pick it up. May, may not be a major thing, but if I get caught without it, I can get fined. <laughs> um, then the other stuff is the website stuff. And then into TESOL, which is the teaching English as a second language. Um, I've been waiting for some stuff to come down off the internet for that, and it's been left hanging. Everybody seems to let me down lately. I don't know what it is with people. They're just manana, manana. But tomorrow, tomorrow, there's no sense of urgency for anything. Um, really, really frustrating because I don't work that way. You know, I'm more of a get it done, get it finished, and then relax. Not, oh well, I'll do it tomorrow get up tomorrow, oh well, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. I can't work like that. That's, that's why people get demotivated, is that nonsense. And in Spain, the paperwork process is exactly that. Oh yeah, just do this. And then, okay, well, oh yeah, to do that, you have to get this bit of paperwork over here, in this other building that's only open on Tuesdays or something. You know, it's, it's like, why is nothing logical? <laughs> so, getting motivated again first thing I need to do is focus on what I need to achieve that that's the first major thing here so use my little whiteboard here uh, first thing I need the main goal this year is getting financially stable so it's financial and also Spanish residency for everybody so residency So how do you achieve that? Because this is how you backtrack, because this is the main goal. And what I do is I go, okay, well, both of those need the residency paperwork. So residency, paperwork, which relies on autonomo, so self-employment. And the self-employment helps for both. So I need to do my TESOL websites and contracting so those three things create the domino effect of the other things uh, working so this is why I sit and write down okay this is what I need to do this week because the autonomo as you can see here needs to be done for the residency paperwork so everything is relying on that autonomo the websites We'll get done this week. I know I've lost a week because some of the one of my servers basically is just naff. It's too slow, um, but it times out before it does the process as it needs to. So the stuff's got to come off there and be done elsewhere, which is basically scrapping it because it's incomplete because it times out all the time. So 
one of the websites is down there. Test all stuff, like I said, I'm stuck waiting on stuff on the web, so I'm now going to push that to one side. That will come down when it wants, and I need to start focusing on getting some work and getting my bit of paperwork for generating some cash flow. Contracting, there's a big contract that may come through in February. Um, if that comes through, then financially, I'll pay a lawyer to do all my paperwork um, because there's enough cash flow in that contract to carry us through for up to 12 to 18 months on the income. It just means I'd have to be away from home, which is the one thing I'm trying to avoid doing. One thing you notice there, there's no mention of the dog food because obviously dog food guy I'm still waiting on, so I've got no control over it. All these elements on the board are things I can control. This is what you need to do. Separate the bits you can do and the bits you can't. If you can't do it, throw it. You know, if it comes up two months down the line, fantastic. If it doesn't, you've written it off anyway. It's, it's wasted enough of your time. Um, so that's basically where I am. And this is, where, this is how I get motivated. I'm saying, right, now I need to get this done. Contracting stuff already sent the paperwork off, it's waiting to come back. If, if the uh, client bites, then that's fine. Can't do any more with it, so that's now sat there. That's got a little circle on it. The Tesla stuff, I'm now going to start hunting work down for myself. I've also just had some people ask me, how do I get work? So I'm sourcing some for them. Oh, would I be losing work myself? Well, the answer is no, because um, they want to work in Barcelona. I'm not in Barcelona. Um, so theirs is going to be face to face where mine's going to be probably more related to online teaching and possibly some face to face stuff locally um, but we'll see how it materializes the I mean this is why I'm starting this TESOL forum up uh, which I might do tonight just to get it up and running and then work out how to block all the spam when all the Indian spam starts hitting it and that's no joke, by the way. It's just that when I normally start a forum up, the one thing I get is an influx of junk from, from India. <laughs> I can tell with the IPs and the nonsense they say, it's always India. Um, then you get the Russians with their uh, pharmaceutical sales. Um, so that's where I am. That's where, This is where I'm currently sitting. This is how I get motivated. And... Winter is broken. Um, I know. See, some people were saying about the the uh, Christmas thing in the winter being like not important, and how people like celebrate. The reason it's celebrated. I mean, the reason I have a line in the sand for a new year is probably more to do with something generic and historical, because you've got to remember the winters in the old days is when people starved to death. <laughs> So, so think about it. The reason why the um, January onwards sort of motivates you, you're into a new year, you're into a new harvest, you're starting again, you survived the winter. <laughs> and, that, that, you know, it's that sort of, yeah, we're through the hard bit, we're now into starting all over again. So get a bit of motivation going. So I would just say, just don't let things get you down. And like I said, draw the line in the sand. That's the first thing I've done. Is like January the 1st, bang, goodbye, 2015, over the shoulder, 2016, we're starting from here. What happened last year is now completely irrelevant. It does not matter. Um, going forward now, just need to focus on what's available. And there's some business stuff here in Spain that I can utilize, but everything was relying on that dog food money, which hasn't materialized. So it looks like the contracting stuff's now back on the table. The one thing I was trying to keep off the table. Um, but we'll wait and see. Because if the Tesol stuff works well, it's not going to be big money, but it's regular money. And the other thing is April can do the Tesol stuff as well. Um, and I know some people have said, oh yeah, but they only want native English speakers in Barcelona and blah, blah, blah. I know a Filipino teacher in Barcelona, funny enough. Um, they're teaching English. <laughs> Believe me, there is people from the Philippines teaching English in Barcelona. Um, there is a lot of opportunities here. Where there isn't a lot of opportunities, 
unless you're selling houses to old people, is within the expat community. It's 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 a lot of a lot of people with not a lot of money. Um, so for me, it's it's there, but it's not as important as trying to get stuff online and looking at sources of other incomes, which are on they they're not time demanding. See the websites are time demanding for the next probably two or three weeks, but then they start to run themselves and then I just flick a button and leave it to go. You know, it's a bit like casting a ship off. <laughs> you know once it's once you built the thing and set it sail, it it comes backwards and forwards with all your cargo. It's a bit like that, you know, once the website's up and running, it's all fully automated. It's no hassles whatsoever. So yeah. I just thought I'd do an update because I know I know I've been a bit quiet about oh watching business develop blah blah blah, but a lot of the people have come forward with ideas and stuff haven't really brought anything to the table. I'm not being funny. If you haven't got anything to actually bring, then there's no point because people are ten a penny. I'm uh, just being blunt. People are ten a penny. It's it's a bit like um, some people wanting to set up a call center. You need to already have the clients. That's it. The rest of it, I've got. You know, there is call centers actually wanting work from me um, where you wouldn't even need a call center. Just the clients would be enough to get up and running. And I know it sounds a bit bizarre, but the Philippines is full of call centers. The one thing they struggle for is clients. Quality is the one bit I'm key on, you know, the quality's got to be there, the quality clients and the quality staff. So the point being is you need to be bringing something to the table because I can deliver. I already have the building. I already have the facilities to do this. I already have the connections to pretty much get anything from five call center agents to 405, no problem. We have the ability to do it. Um, so... If you're interested, bring something forward. Bring it to the table. If it's a new idea even, something that's not related to the call centre, bring it to the table. Because I know um, relating to the um, recycling plants, the, that that idea is already materialising into some serious ventures uh, for the people involved. Things like that I'm interested in. Um, although I can't buy a a plant that's costing half a million euros myself, I may be able to find somebody who will, you know, a government person uh, in a position that is looking for some recycling or EU funding for a project. Um, whatever it is, I'm sure we'll work something out. But I just wanted to update people. Look, this is how I get motivated. I've drawn the line in the sand. We're now in 2016. Forget last year, this is a new year, let's get focused. Yeah.